and we're going to learn how to request books from other libraries. So I'm already at the Unity Point Share website. If you don't remember how to get there, go back to week one or week two's videos to see how to get there. I've already searched by keyword and I've already changed my limit by to my library. So now I'm gonna type in the title of a book that I'm looking for. And one of my favorites right now is called Hair Love. And I'm gonna see if our library has it first. And I look and we do not have it. So if you look for a book and our library doesn't have it, you can change the limit by instead of my library to all formats. But please always check our library first. Then you can go to all formats and click enter again. And I'm gonna scroll down. That one's an electronic resource, electronic. Here, this one is a book. I know it's a book because underneath the picture is a picture of a book. If this picture here is of the Cloud Library app or of a CD or something, then it's not going to be a book. So you can always double check. So I know it's a book and local availability tells me zero of zero. We don't have it here. So I'm going to have to order it from another library. So on the right hand side, I'm going to click request it. and it will bring me to where I have to log in. I know you have quite a few usernames and passwords. So for the share system, it's one more you're gonna have to try to remember. To log in, we type UP for Unity Point, and then your login numbers for netbooks. Some of you have four numbers, some of you have five. So I'm gonna type mine in. And your password is just the numbers of your password you use to log in a netbook. So it should be four numbers, just the numbers by themselves. And then you click log in. And then my pickup library is already set to Unity Point. Everyone should automatically be set to that. And I'm gonna click submit request. Now this part is really important. Right here, it tells me your request has been placed. You always wanna read what it says. If your request has been placed, you're good to go. It is ordered. But sometimes a different phrase will pop up that says you cannot order this book or the library does not allow this title to be requested. So if you don't pay attention to what it says there, sometimes it'll say you can't order this you don't pay attention and it never comes and you're wondering why and it's because you didn't read what it said. So if it says your request has been placed, you're good to go. Now, I can choose what I wanna do from here. Do I want to look up another book? I can go to search results. I could log out if I'm completely done or what I'm gonna choose is go to your list of hold requests. This is where I can see what I have ordered and if they're on their way yet or not. So I'm gonna to click to go to see my hold request and I scroll down. These are all of the things that I have requested. So you can see hair love and the status right now, it says pending in red. And what that means is I just requested it. So another library got that request. The librarian has not physically walked over to the shelf, pulled it off and scanned it in the computer for me yet. So it's going to say pending the day you request it until someone scans it in the computer. Okay. You can see some of these other ones I've requested. For example, can I be your dog? It is green and says active. Anytime you see the word active in green, it means you're on a waiting list. You don't want to cancel it because you're in line to get that item, but it might take a while. You can always come and ask me and I can look up what number you are on the waiting list. But if it's green and active, you will be on the waiting list. It could be you might be on the waiting list one day, one week. It could be a month or two or longer, depending on how many items are in the system and depending on what number you are on the waiting list. When your item is on the way to our school, I'm going to click over to another teacher's account. It will say the word shipped in red. That means 
The book is actually on the way to our school and you will get it very soon. So once it turns red and says shipped, there is a magic number of days. Underneath where it says shipped, it says how many days ago it was shipped. The magic number is seven. Seven. If your item says shipped like this one does, shipped eight days ago, you can come ask me and say, my item says it was shipped more than seven days. Can you check on it? Because sometimes the books will get lost as they're transferring from library to library, and I need to call about those. So if it says four days ago, you're fine. You don't need to come ask. If it says today, you don't need to come ask. But if yours said any number higher than seven, you can come ask me about it, and I can call the library and see if there's a delay or if it got lost or what we need to do next to find the item. So the number seven is the magic number of days you wait once it's turned red and says shipped. Because shipped means it's on its way to our library. Every now and then when you go to order a book, it will say, choose the item that you want. And remember in last week's video, we talked about our code, our library system for our region. It is ZCA. So if you get the choice to choose which book you want, always choose one from ZCA because it will come the fastest. One last thing is when you order a book from another library, in fourth grade, you get to check out three books at a time. When you order something, it does not count towards your three until it comes in. Because you could be on the waiting list for a month or two. That's not fair to count that as one of your three when you don't actually have it. So you could check out three books today and order a book today. Now, once the book comes in and you have it, it will count towards your three items. So if a book comes in and you already have three items checked out, I'll send you a little slip to your homeroom class that says, your book has arrived, bring one in to trade it out so you can get your new book. Okay, so it only counts toward your three items that you can check out once the book has arrived and it's in your hand. Then it does count toward your three that you can have out every week. Okay, and the very last thing we'll always do is log out. One thing I want to show you before we go, I'm going to search by keyword again. I'm going to change to my library. What if I type in a book? Let's type in the pigeon wants a puppy. If you look up a book and you check local availability and it says zero of one, which means we own it, but it's checked out. Can you still order a book if we own it? but it's checked out? Absolutely. So if I go to local availability and it's not here today, go ahead and request it. Uh, you don't have to wait for that to come back in. You can request it even if we own it, as long as it's still. And the cool thing about fourth grade is when you learn to request books, you may also request video games and movies. Now, you do have to request them in the appropriate age range. So you can request G or PG movies. You would not be able to request PG-13 unless you get a parent permission slip signed. And we don't allow our movies in our school at all. So those would just not be allowed. For video games, you would have to get a permission slip signed to get those at all. And then your parents can choose if they allow E for everybody, if they allow T for teen. We do not allow mature M rated video games in our school at all. So even if you get a permission slip signed, we just do not allow those. So if you wanted a video game, you could get a permission slip signed and you could order E or T, but that is all. And if you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Bye.